today, ba -ba -da -dum, I am unveiling my DGen1 made by the Ethereum phone team uh, running ETH OS. I am so excited about this. If anybody here follows me on X, you'll know that I plan on using this device to do a race to AGI, um, autonomously generated income, leveraging the Morpheus network ecosystem and other DAI projects to do so. But I'm gonna do an initial product opening and startup of the phone, and I'll be kind of documenting the whole process. So let's dive right into it. Let's open it up. All right. And we are inside. So as you can see, there's a handful of things in here. First and foremost, there is a recovery card right here, which is pretty cool. It can be used to like as a two factor authentication to recover your wallet address after setting it up. Uh, here's what comes in the box. You have your device, which comes in this very cool little nifty leather case. This kind of reminds me of something that a video game character would wear um, like on their on their belt as a holster, which I thought was kind of interesting. Then you have a charging cable, USB-C to USB-C. You have a pair of headphones, which are not branded, it looks like, but they are USB-C. And then let's see, we have some other swag. We have these, this pretty cool little sticker here and an operator's handbook. Let's take a quick powerful laser pointer on board. Do not point <laughs> in eyes or at camera. See if you can get a oh, good look at that. Put that back and let's see what we've all been waiting for here, which is the actual DGen1 device. Boom. Look at it in all of its glory. Let's turn it on, the power button's on the side here. We're gonna hit that and let's see, this is the first startup ever of my device. There we go. System initializing. It's actually kind of hard to open it like this because again, if you saw how, how I was managing this camera setup, it's a, it's a little bit goofy. But um, yeah, this is the the first startup. We'll let it load here for a second. Activating laser. <laughs> I love that. It's one of the uh, one of the items down there. It says that the boot sequence is complete. There is the time, uh, which is not quite correct, and welcome to your DGen1. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing it did is ask us to add a network. So give me just one moment here. I'm gonna go ahead and do some, some movie magic so I can get us online. Okay, so all that you missed is that I connected to Wi-Fi really quick and it brought me to this wallet recovery screen, which asks you to tap the included recovery card against the back of your DGen1. So let's do that quick, see what happens. Okay, recovery was successful. It's gonna ask me to set a pin, so I'm gonna do that off camera really quickly. I just set a pin. I must say the the like graphics and animations uh, when you do things on this are really, really pleasant and, and really unique just compared to other phones and things that I've used. I, I love this device already. I, I think that it is very cool to see a team, especially a small team of only three people, going out on a limb to build a new piece of hardware. On Manifest Morpheus Monday, which is a Twitter spaces that I host with my esteemed co-host Player One Taco every Monday, we do a segment called Gizmos and Gadgets, where we specifically talk about hardware products, especially in the Web3 space. And th this is a really fun one already. So we're gonna tap the card to confirm the pin. Boom, pin is set up successfully. Let me plug it in really quick so we can keep rolling. Okay, so I put in the pin, now it's asking to do a capture of the fingerprint. So I'm gonna do that as well. And the fingerprint sensor is on the back here, just so you can see guys right over there. So I'm gonna do that. It's actually kinda hard to find a little bit. Okay, I think I got it. Let's see. Swipe right to go back, swipe left to go home. Interact, okay, swipe. So it looks like you swipe at the bottom. 
Sorry guys, I know this is like, it looks like it's a little goofy, but it's because of the way I'm holding um, the camera. I can't, I'm kind of seeing the screen at an angle a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna swipe there. Blue is the power button, red is the laser. Let's see, double press and hold for laser. Oh, there we go. Wait, I think it makes a noise. Oh my gosh, can you hear this? <laughs> That's amazing. I hope this is going through on the audio, but every time you turn the laser on, you get a little aura. Wait. Oh, okay. I don't know. Before it gave me a little pew pew. Oh man, that's awesome. I don't want to point it at the camera, but there is a laser here. Let me just shoot from down and you'll be able to see it on the... There you go. There's our laser. That's amazing. That is a ton of fun. Oh, I don't know what I just did. Sign a one-time message to create your account and start chatting. Okay, hang on guys. So it actually had me sign that message with my fingerprint. I know I'm jumping around here a little bit. Honestly, this is just a little distracting, but really, really cool. It, it was really cool. There was a cool graphic when it asked me to sign the message and I did with the back of my finger. It did this like warp drive kind of wormhole graphic and it brought us to our home screen. So this is what shows up uh, initially. These are all the native apps or active apps rather. Looks like there is an alarm. How do I go back? Back is this way, a calculator. See with the camera, how we're doing there. Not amazing, but it'll be really fun. I'm gonna capture a lot of, you know, crypto events and stuff on that camera. We got a contacts, what is Chad? Allow access to my contacts, sure, Chad. Initiate Neuralink, enter blockchain terminal. Okay, we'll explore this in another video, but let's keep moving. Contacts. Here's the DGen App Store. I think I've seen screenshots of this. Yeah, here you go. So these are the initial apps in the App Store for anybody who is curious. Looks like there's quite a few. So let me know if you want me to do a video of trying some of these out. Let me know which ones you want me to try out. I see Zora there. Limitless. Shout out to Nounspace. Just scrolling through here to see. Okay, it looks like that's all of them for now. I know Banker has been very, very popular, so I'm excited to try that out. Oh, Alchemix, that's cool to see. Obviously, Uniswap, ENS, Aave, OpenSea, very cool, Rocket Pool. Okay, apparently I took a screenshot. I'm not totally used to all of the... Uh, motions and everything yet. Let's see, there's a Firefox browser. I'm assuming this is a photo gallery. Oh, NFT gallery. Notes, Play Store, what's going on there? Google Play. Settings, stopwatch, timer, token launcher, wallet, and messenger. So yeah, that's the uh, initial setup for this thing. I will dive further into you know, all the different features and everything that this can do as I play with it a little bit more. But I just wanted to kind of show it off for everybody who's been interested. I know there's people who have not, oh, by the way, one tap, it looks like locks it. A lot of people haven't been able to get their hands on this guy quite yet. Oh, there we go. This is a screenshot you've been seeing a lot of people post on their X, which apparently is just uh, the lock screen is very cool but yeah a lot of people have not had the ability to get their hands on these yet i had ordered it you know very early on when they did the nft sale and it's uh it's very cool so shout out to the team the ethereum phone etho s team for putting this together and last but not least what i should do is always one of the most pleasing parts of a new device is to peel off the screen saver ready for this Ooh, it is officially mine, people. All right, here it is. DGen 1 Ethereum phone. I will uh, keep messing around with it and we'll post more content. Thanks, guys. I'm trying to free your mind, but I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it. Through it. Through it. Through it. Through it. You're listening to Brain Power.